ass, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Good. As we look forward to the premiere of The Last Dance on April 19th, we continue to look back at the legacy of Michael Jordan's Bulls. As MJ was building his resume, there are many others whose legacies had to suffer, obviously, along the way. Look at that list of what-ifs for Hall of Famers who went up against Jordan and those who have chased his ghost all along. But of all those players, past and present, Stephen A., I know this is a tough question. Whose legacy do you think has suffered the most due to Jordan's greatness at a whole nother level? Well, first of all, allow me to delay my answer by acknowledging that there are many, many people on this list. Names like Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, those names come to mind in terms of. You know why they suffered? Because every time they get to the finals, Michael Jordan ruined their chance to get in their rings. That's why you see some of these players ringless because they had to run up, run up against that brick wall. And. Jordan and the Bulls, they get there, can't get the job done because, you know, the guy on the other side is one of the greatest players of all time, and he he kept them from getting that ring on their finger. And that's why some of them has suffered. Yeah, some of them had good teams, but once you go against the Bulls, it changed everything for them. It changed their outcome. The Jazz got there plenty of times. But Jordan stopped him from getting it. Stop Carl Malone from getting it. Stop John Stockton from getting it. Because he hit one of the best final shots in history when he had the flu. When he pushed Russell out the way and hit that shot. And Utah couldn't get the job done because of going against Michael Jordan. Charles Barkley the same way with the Suns. He can't get it done because he ran up against Joy and the Bulls. Guys that would have had championships. Clyde Drexler, even though he ultimately went to Houston and got one, uh, he would have had one in Portland if it were not for Jordan. We get all of that. We also have to remember the days of the Cleveland Cavaliers when they had Mark Price, Larry Nance, Matt Darty, and those boys, Greg Elo, uh, poor Craig Elo, you know, seeing Jordan, you know, shooting the fall away jump shot over the free throw line uh, to win a playoff series. I mean, he's forever infamous for that moment because Jordan shot over him. There's a host of people and, and teams that you could bring into the equation that Jordan just ruined everything and he just sullied their legacy. But the person that I believe, Max, suffered the most was Patrick Ewing, former center for the New York Knicks. You don't really hear anything about Patrick Ewing, the player, anymore outside of New York City. He carried the New York Knicks franchise on his back for more than a decade. Yes, when Jordan retired, they went to the finals and lost to Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. Kenny. See? Because they had to go up against them in the Eastern Conference Finals and couldn't get past the Bulls. Many occasions, they had to meet in that Eastern Conference to get the job done. And then when Jordan retired and went to go play baseball, shot to get one, but couldn't get it done. But once Jordan came back, it's like he couldn't get it done. It's like he just rewinding. And steady moving forward, and you had that big shot to be able to get one. That was your opportunity right there. Once you let that slip to your fingers, and then Jordan step back into the NBA, you know you won't get no championship after that. Smith, Robert Ory, and all of those boys. That is true. But there is no question that if it were not for Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewan would be a champion. We talk about Duncan, we'll mention David Robinson, we'll mention Shaq and others. We almost never may mention Patrick Ewing outside of New York. He is an afterthought in basketball annals because he never won the chip because usually the Chicago Bulls and specifically Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen were standing in his way. That is a great pull, Patrick Ewing. And Steve Ewing played his whole career on bad knees. People forget when he was coming out of college, there was no player really ever, maybe since Kareem, 
who was more touted coming out of college. He was Bill Russell, they were saying, but oh my God, he also has an offense. Then his knee went, he was never the same, but you're right. Who's the only team to take Jordan seven games back then? Patrick Ewing, I love it. That would have been my answer if we were thinking about it conventionally. Here's my answer. Kobe Bryant. I think Kobe Bryant is the guy whose legacy has suffered the most because of Jordan. Now, it's a little unfair. Because so much of Kobe's game is based on MJ. Would Yeah, yeah. His game's similar to Michael Jordan, but his ain't really suffer. This guy had five rings. Ain't no suffering there. Yes, he might have his game after Michael Jordan, but they haven't suffered. The guys that shut us. That suffers the ones that couldn't get past Jordan and couldn't get no rings. Only one out of that, that group that got a ring when he went to Houston was um, Dressler. Because when he was with Portland, Michael Jordan kept him for getting one with Portland. So he went to Houston and got one. Everyone else on that list couldn't get the um, job done. Oh, and and um, Magic Johnson got five with the Lakers. It just warned he couldn't get past Jordan. That's when he was getting up at age. Kobe game have a suffered. Anything his career have a suffered. Because he got five rings. He has his game monitored out there on, but they haven't really suffered. Kobe have been the same player had MJ not come before him. Well, given his work ethic, his drive, his his you know determination to be great, his athletic. The fact that his father was, uh, was, uh, was a high-level basketball player. All those things, I think the answer is yes, even had there not been a Michael Jordan to aspire to, to you know, whose game he could imitate and all that. I mean, even wound up with Jordan's coach for crying out loud. But Kobe was Jordan, tried to be Jordan 2.0. 24 instead of 23. Was going for the seven chips to, to surpass Jordan six, wound up with five. Just imagine if there was no Michael Jordan, what we would think about Kobe Bryant. He would basically be Michael Jordan because he is as it is. He's basically Michael Jordan. If Jordan never had existed, but somehow Kobe was still the player he became, it would be tough to find a comparison for him. He would be considered in by greater numbers of people the greatest player who ever lived. But because of Jordan, he's only the second best who ever played his position. And so the direct comparison to MJ, as I said, Kareem and LeBron, it's not exactly a direct well, comparison to MJ. Bill Russell, Max. Kobe so easily directly compared to him, the fact that he comes up a little short mm -hmm. hurts his legacy. No, Max, you're wrong. And here's why you're wrong. Because the three titles that Kobe won with Shaq also compromised his legacy. If Kobe had the five rings and he had done it without Shaq and those five rings came courtesy of how he won the last two as the face and the leader of the franchise, even though you had Gasol and Andrew Bynum and Derek Fisher and those boys with you, that would be different. But because those first three rings came with Shaq and he was basically considered 1A sidekick number two or whatever, that also assisted Jordan in compromising the legacy of Kobe. In Ewing's case, Ewing went up against Jordan. Ewing was completely denied. Remember one year, Max, first of all, there yeah. was one year when they had Xavier McDaniel and they went to a game seven. How about the other times when the New York Knicks were the favorites? They are not the favorites, but people were talking about they could knock them off. And that's how you suffer. When you in the same conference and then you meet head on in the Eastern Conference Finals, and they keep you from beating them when you had the opportunity to knock them off. But Bulls figure out a way to knock the Knicks out of the way, and Jordan make you suffer because you have to meet him in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's why anyone has suffered. That's why among the big man, they don't really talk to him about him as much because he haven't got that job done. He haven't got to the finals and won one. He had an opportunity when Michael Jordan was gone, but it slipped from him. And he couldn't get back there again and won one. 
it just when you had to meet in that Eastern Conference Finals and you can't get past the Bulls, it, it makes you suffer because you're going against Michael Jordan who's stopping you. Yeah, you on a roll of going deep and then boom. You hit that brick wall, and that's Michael Jordan. And have you suffering? They went up 2 0 on the Chicago Bulls. And then Jordan and John those boys Starks. came back and won yeah. four straight. What I'm saying is, you was the face of the left hand. You it's never talked about. You and it's never talked about. Nobody's legacy is hurt more Real than Ewing's because I, of Jordan's greatness. I hear you, but. When Jordan wasn't in the league, we had a chance to see a parallel league, and 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 Olajuwon won twice, beat Ewing, and then Ewing with the finger roll came up a little short against the Pacers. Uh, he couldn't have dunked it from that distance anyway. That like, well, that's for another day. Kobe Bryant, Stephen A. had Shaq, so Kobe used to tell me, Max, it's like if Jordan came up with Wilt. And I used to tell Kobe, Kobe, that's a bad argument. That sounds to me like they'd have never lost, right? Like they'd have had 10 championships. But you're right. It diminished Kobe, the perception of him slightly because he was second banana or really 1A to Shaq's 1 or 1B to Shaq's 1A. But it still helped him win championships. Had Kobe landed on seven chips, there would be many more people saying, or even six, he was the great But the fucking compare directly to Jordan. Had there not been an mm -hmm. MJ... Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live. For the little bit of the bad. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Gotta be safe.